I think it would be completely fair to say that when it comes to comic book conventions, you and I, we've been out of practice. There's many things we may have forgotten. So before diving in, let's establish some, some guidelines. A survival's guide, if you want to call it that. Bring only the essentials. Paper, pencils, a brush, maybe two brushes, a little one and a big one. That should do. Be prepared to draw in not so ideal environments. Use commissions as an opportunity to draw characters you're not familiar with or characters you rarely ever get to draw. bring assistance. You don't need to bring all of your paints. Just bring three. All you need is red, blue, and yellow. It's amazing what that combination can accomplish. baby paint the hotel walls. From collectors to dealers, Comic Cons take on a different meaning, a different experience for each individual. For me, it's evolved over time and the entire experience has completely changed. remains constant. The work. At times, it's easy to confuse business and pleasure. Doing both can be difficult, but not impossible. Not living up to either of the expectations can cause extreme irritability. It's not egotistical to realize some people are there to see you. So don't be a jerk. One of the things you'll have to keep reminding yourself is that you're there for other people. So you sketch first, then color? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like to do it that way because sometimes you know, you, you 
you can kind of get some of the, the shadows. You're like, oh, well, I don't need to eat that part, right? Yeah. It's kind of nicer, yeah. right? Yeah, kinda yeah. Let the so, paint speak for it, exactly, yeah. right? Like before, I used to ink and then color. Yeah. And then it, it, it just it's felt not. like my inks were... I was in my own way, if that makes sense. Yeah, you know, like yeah. my, my left foot was like tripping on my right foot and... <laughs> You know, working this way, it, it just feels more natural. It feels like you're... It took me a long time to accept compliments over my art. I think there was a part of me that felt like saying thank you made me sound like I knew it was good. A friend once told me that it's not about whether you think you're good or not. It's just when you downplay it, you put into question the person's taste, the person who's complimenting you goes from feeling good to feeling unsure. And both parties just leave off feeling unsatisfied. So next time you get a compliment. Did you make that? I did, yeah. Thank you. Share that mutual appreciation for each other. This, this event is a celebration of our art form. While there's many details that we forget about conventions, the experience, those are the things that stick with us. Those are the things that we don't forget. There's just one more thing that I feel is essential to the convention experience, 